Hello everyone, welcome to Example of Physics. Here we study concepts by solving questions. So here I have a question. This question was sent by one of my students. The question is on the topic vertical circle or vertical circular motion. Let's see the question first. A 2 kg stone is swung in a vertical circle by attaching it at the end of a string of length 2 meters. If the string can withstand a tension 140.6 newtons, then the maximum speed in meter per second with which the stone can be rotated is. The options are 22, 44, 33 and 11. In order to solve this question, first we have to understand the concept of vertical circular motion. So in vertical circular motion, a mass is tied to a string and it is given a push horizontally with some initial velocity let's say the initial velocity is v because of this push the body undergoes circular motion here the forces acting on the body are the weight its weight mg because this is hanging vertically downward and mg is the gravitational force if the mass of the block is m Due to this initial velocity, which is, which is given horizontally, the mass moves upward. Here if you look at the question, the question says mass is 2 kg. And can you guess the radius of the circle? Yes, the radius of the circle is going to be equal to the length of the string that is 2 meters as given in the question. So for our convenience, for right now, for getting the expression, let us take the radius as r. Now as the body moves up and up, what happens is height from the ground keeps on increasing. As a result, its potential energy increases and its velocity decreases. Now the question says, if the string can withstand a tension of 140.6 newtons, then the maximum speed with which the stone can be rotated. That means this string what we have, it can only withstand the maximum tension. Uh, let me write it as T max, maximum tension that it can withstand is just 140.6 Newtons. That means at no point during the vertical circular motion when the body moves along this, the tension should exist, exceed, the tension should exceed this value. So at what point in the vertical circle this tension is going to be maximum? That's what we have to find out. So let for this let us take different positions on the vertical circle. The bottommost point let us call that point as A. So the tension in the string when the body is at position A is Ta. Now what are the forces experienced by this body? The forces experienced by this body is its own weight mg downward and because it is in a circular motion it will experience an outward force which we call it as centrifugal force. So centrifugal force is equal to mv square by r since it's a position a let's take this velocity as va hence the centrifugal force becomes va square mva square by r. So here the tension ta is equal to mg downward force plus mv square by r so v we are taking it as va because it is at the position a now let's go to another position so for that what i'll do is i'll take position which is at quadrant to the circle so i'll take this position next to position here so what are the forces acting on the mass one is the downward force that is the mg because the gravitational force always acts downward next other force is the tension force and that is always along towards the center and let's say this position is b so the tension is tb here the direction of velocity is tangential from here so the velocity at position b will call let us call it as vb and one more force because it is moving in a circular motion outward force that is mvb square by r that 
the centrifugal force. So here the tension is Tb is equal to the, the one which is balancing the Tb is mv square by r or mvb square by r. So this is our tension at B. Let us take one more point in this situation and then let us understand where the tension is maximum. So the one more point which I am going to take is exactly opposite to the initial position that is A. So um, let us take this point as C. So tension towards is always towards the center and the tension in the string let us write it as Tc. This tension will act as centripetal force for circular motion. Now the forces experienced by the mass one is the tension next is the gravitational force gravitational force always vertically downward and the other force which is outward is the centrifugal force since the veloc velocity is vc so mvc square by r position we are taking it at position c so mvc square by r so here i can write the equation or the expression for tension First, let us write downward forces that those are Tc plus Mg. That must be equal to the upward force that is Mvc square by R. So, Tc is equal to, let us write it as Mvc square by R minus Mg. Now, we have three expressions over here. This will help us to decide at what point the tension is maximum. Now, look at them very carefully. Let us talk about the first one. In the first one, the expression is Ta is equal to mg plus mva square by r. If I compare it with Tb, which is only having mvb square by r, since vb cannot be greater than, since vb cannot be greater than va, why vb cannot be greater than va? Because as the body is moving up, as the body moves up, the kinetic energy gets converted into potential energy as a result velocity will decrease so the expression mg plus mva square is always greater than mvb square vb is less than va so mvb square by r is less than mva square plus one additional term what do we have mg so tension at a is greater than tension at b now let us come to tension at C. As it is moving up and up, at C it reaches the maximum point. Here yeah, it reaches the maximum point. So this is the maximum height. So at this point it is going to have maximum potential energy and minimum kinetic energy. Hence Vc has to be much much less than Va. Therefore, the tension at C is should be less than Tb should be less than Ta. Now, we have understood that the tension at the bottom most point is where the velocity is maximum. Not only that, it is where the, ten, the string is going to experience maximum tension. So, this tension that is Ta should not exceed 140.6 newtons so remember this expression ta is equal to mg plus mva square by r is the tension at a and va is the initial velocity with which the body starts to move hence we have to find the maximum value of va so let us do that in the next page come to let's come to the fresh page now now the expression for tension right now we have found out Ta is equal to downward force mg plus outward force mva square by r so what are the things given to us mass is 2 kg velocity we have to find out va max we have to find out r is equal to the length which is equal to 2 meters and t max 
is equal to 140.6 newtons now let's put all these things here to get the final expression so ta i'm take in order to get maximum velocity we have to take tension as maximum if i take tension as maximum i get va as maximum so tension maximum is equal to 140.6 is equal to mass is 2 kg g i'm taking it as let us take 9.8 better mm, one minute let us take g as 9.8 g as 9.8 plus mass is 2 va max we have to find out va max square by radius that is the length which is 2 meters where 2 2 gets cancelled out so what do we left with 140.6 is equal to 2 into 9.8 uh, that is equal to 19.6 plus VA square max. So VA square max is equal to 140.6 minus 19.6, which is equal to 0. Uh, 0. 06 minus 6, 0. 0 minus 9 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. 121 so va max is equal to square root of 121 which is equal to 11 meter per second so this is the solution here so what did we learn in this video we have by, by solving this question is that the point when the body is undergoing vertical circular motion the bottommost point will have maximum tension so if you are designing any body which has to undergo vertical circular motion, you have to make the body strong enough that it can hold the mass given you know the maximum velocity with which it, it, is, in, it is started. So I hope you like the video. If you like it, please share with your friends and family members. We will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching.